So hello there everyone, welcome uh, back to uh, part two of uh, my build of the Roundhouse George uh, live steam locomotive. And as you can see from the instruction manual that's uh, on the cutting mat now, um, we're going to start with uh, the George chassis kit. Um, however, before we uh, start the build, the build process, what I actually did off camera is uh go through all the components that are in the kit and make sure that they're all there although you can see there's a paragraph from somebody at roundhouse that's checked them off i wanted to just go through them through all the bits and pieces myself uh, just to make sure that they're all there and to identify um, the different bits and pieces that uh, that i need so i knew if when it comes to requiring six brass countersunk valve chest screws I know exactly where they are and you can see all the components they're sort of grouped together and each of those groups they represent one of the sealed uh, plastic bags where they're all in so let's crack on okay let's uh, get started then the components that we need uh, for this particular stage of the build are the chassis frames, the chassis frame spacers and uh, the screws to put them all together. So let's cut them out. Take it easy not to scratch the frames of course. These steel frames, stainless steel frames. Okay, we'll put the rest of the bag to one side. The spacers. And we need some of these screws. Not all of them, some of them. Okay, let's uh, take the first brass screw, put it in the hole, and we'll just start it again. Just put this on like this. What I'm going to do is just, um, and the instructions actually say this, is to attach all four to one side first. So we'll do that. Another one, this one. So we've got two at the top of the frame, one at the bottom between the two axles. It's a little bit tighter, so we'll put that in. So, that's the third one. Just let me double check on the instructions where the last one goes, and it's at the top. So that's here, through there, attach it, come on, yeah, okay that's going down, okay so that's the left side done, and now I think I'm going to turn it round to attach the other side yep another screw this one and the last one screwdriver
Right, so what we'll do now, we'll tighten up the screws, making sure this is vertical. Just a little bit there, make it sh just, just nip it in, and the back of this one as well, just nip it in. Turn it round. Same on the other side. Nip them in for now. Make sure that this is they are vertical and then the bottom two, making sure that they're vertical too. So tighten them up now, make sure they're vertical. Yeah. Take it easy because they are brass screws. Too much, turn them around. I asked at the factory about perhaps using Loctite on the um, on the fixings, and they said in the factory they don't they only use it at, on specific components, they don't use it as standard. So if it's good enough around us, it's good enough for me, so I'm not using any Loctite on these screws. So there we've got the frame. There it is. Put it back round front of the loco, rear of the loco, and uh, that's the frame done. At this point, the instructions say um, it's probably handy handier to actually paint it at this stage before continuing. So, but for me, um, painting, spray painting is uh, a bit of a job because I'm in my attic room and I live in a normal house I do not have a paint booth so um, I'm gonna uh, bodge it <laughs> if you like I'm gonna um, turn my garden shed uh, into a paint booth um, but I'm not gonna go to all that effort just for um, the frames the chassis frame so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all the other modules of the kit and uh, see what work I have to do so that I can just do one um, spray uh, paint session um, for black because the chassis I'm going to paint in black it's just concerning black so we've got uh, what I'm thinking is uh, the chassis frame as it is the front and the rear buffer beams uh, front valance foot plate the cab floor and i'm also thinking of uh, painting the locomotive and tender wheels and also i might do uh, the tender chassis frames as well make them up first and then spray all them black in one go but concerning the chassis frame that's it for now